how to combine violent chopping with um, left hand pizzicato to create some beautiful beats. First of all, I can say it's not that hard to learn, uh, but you have to know chopping, of course. If you don't know it, uh, there are like a lot of very good tutorials on YouTube. I would say we start with a really basic pattern, which would be like this. If you look at violin chopping, a sort of drum set playing on our violin, then we have the kick drum here, we have the snare here, and I was kind of missing the hi-hat as a third element to connect the parts. And so I came up with the idea to use the left hand pizzicato on this. First thing we want to do is make this completely independent from everything we do. On. One. One. Yeah, you got it. If you feel very relaxed and comfortable with that, then you grab your bow and try it. Cool. If you can do this, very good. And now we can make it a little bit more interesting. First thing, it's easy and it's a cool effect. You notice when you make a chop, and then on the up bow you create a sound and it would be like this second thing what i like to do is this sort of um, subdivisions stuff Third thing would be the triple chop. If you can do this, it's very nice to put this into your pattern. For example, like this. The fourth very important thing is the harmony, of course. But I'm sure you guys are really creative. The problem is we are limited when we use the open E string for example. So what I did in some videos I <laughs> tuned my E string into E flat or into D or I used the A string to pits uh, or A and E. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will have some wonderful ideas. Yes, let me know if this was helpful or not at all and if you have any questions or ideas feel free to comment i will answer thank you for watching and peace